I'm happy to welcome you here today. Today I'm talking about Q new things we have added to the plugin in the last year. My name is Stefan Juchmes and I'm a developer at MonkeyBird Software since 2019. 17 years ago, the first version of the MBS plugin came out. At that time, still with 25 functions. In these 17 years, the plugin has become much larger and is with over 7100 functions, one of the largest FileMaker plugins in the world. It includes many functions from different areas, so that it leaves almost no wish unsatisfied. The plugin can run on Claris and FileMaker Pro and with scheduled scripts WebDirect, Data API and perform script on server on the server. And then we have the iOS SDK for standalone iOS apps. You can't use it directly on FileMaker Go, but you can use perform script on server on FileMaker Go and then you can use the functions of the plugin. The plugin can be used under Mac, Windows and Linux. It is divided into more than 160 components, so covering a wide range of topics. For example, you can write and modify PDF documents with DynaPDF, write and read Excel files with LibXL without having Excel installed, retrieve and send emails in FileMaker, you can perform text recognition on images, edit images, create and read barcodes and much, much more. You get all of these in a single plugin file. But if you are searching for the 7100 functions in the calculation dialog, you won't find them because we have exactly one function and one script step with which you can use the plugin. Both are called MBFs. The first parameter in the function is always the function name. This function name can be a string, but can also come from a calculation or even from a field. Depending on the function, other parameters can follow after the function name. Of course, it can come during programming or waste to errors. To control whether the used MBS function has thrown an error, we use the MBS is error function. If you want to learn more about the individual functions, take a look at our documentation, read our blog or try out the more than 600 examples that we are included in the plugin download. And of course, you always can contact us. Because I can't present all functions today, I decide to present some new cool features that have been added to the plugin recently. So we start with MongoDB. The backend of Clara Studio is based on MongoDB. The best thing about MongoDB is that it is not a relational database based on tables and relationships, but its data has a JSON-like structure. This allows you to make queries that were previously not easily possible, due to the restriction of relationships or table boundaries. For example, you can find out simply who is longer in your company, the carpet in the warehouse or your trainee. Unfortunately, the dynamics that MongoDB offers cannot be used directly internal in Claris Studio as a programmer. For this reason, we have decided to implement a connection to MongoDB database. Since the middle of 22, we have developing new functions for the MongoDB component in our plugins. By now, we have over 90 functions in this component. MongoDB databases are not based on tables and records, but on collections and documents that are available in a database. 
A database can contain several collections and these collections contain several documents. These documents could be seen as the equivalent of our records, but they can do more because they are not fixed to a fixed structure and therefore they are much more flexible. So you can have in one and the same collection documents that have entries about name and age of a person, but also date about a building. If you are interested, you can easily query if there is a building that is as old as a person. There are almost no limits to your imagination. If you want to be sure that several documents are changed at the same time, then transactions that you can also use in MongoDB will be helpful. Since summer this year, we have functions in the plugin that can display a PDF preview in the layout under Windows and macOS. The advantage of this is that this PDF view can be displayed across layouts and the content is not changed during a record change. You can also mark content in the PDF view and you can copy it via the right mouse button menu. The PDF document that is displayed in this preview can come from a container field or from a file on the computer. The size of the control which is used on the layout can either be specified by a certain size and position or you can position the preview on a layout object, for example a rectangle. This should give you an easy opportunity to use a preview of a PDF document to support your work. But let's stay with PDF documents. The plugin has a lot of things waiting there for you. On the one hand, we have the cross-platform solution with a very large function package from DynaPDF. Depending on the DynaPDF license you purchase, you can use these functions to create your PDF file as you wishes, edit them and much, much more. For example, you can easily create a search over text, which searches for certain keywords that occurs in the PDF and marks them in the PDF document. You can exchange images and texts and so you can create every week, for example, an updated handout. Designing with DynaPDF a PDF form which contains data from the database, send this PDF to your customer who can then change the data in the form and reread this PDF automatically into your database to update your data. Especially popular is also the possibility to convert a PDF file to a PDFA format or to add an embedded XML to the PDF file like the German Zugwert or the Factor X standard. Sign your PDF document so your recipient knows that it is from you and is unchanged. All these things and much more is no problem with Dyna PDF. If you are working on Mac or iOS SDK, then PDF Kit is also available for working with PDF files for several years. With this component, you can, for example, insert images as pages in a PDF document, combine different PDF files to one, query different information about an existing PDF document, like the page number, or print a PDF, and for this PDF we can define printer settings in the script before. Not as extensive as the PDF kit, but available for Windows, are the new WinPDF functions we added to the plugin this spring. You can use the WinPDF functions to query the size of certain areas in the PDF, get information like page number and page orientation. Also, we can create a preview or render an image from a defined page. To stay directly with functions for Windows users, 
I would like to introduce the WinOCR component. At the beginning of this year, we added it to the plugin. It can perform text recognitions on Windows 10 or 11 without the need to include a library, as it was the case with Tesseract. This works because it uses the built-in OCR functions of Windows. So if you have an image, you can perform a text recognition with this image. You can choose the language from the installed languages on your Windows system. The language that should be recognized you can specify in the initialization process of the OCR engine. When you query text on the image, you can not only receive the poor text, but you can also query the position and dimension of these individual words, as JSON. For example, to be able to mark certain text areas on that image. With WinOCR, you can perform text recognition with just a few lines of script. This makes it very easy to use. If you have an older Windows version or work on Mac, you can use functions from the OCR component, which works with Tesseract. Or you can use Vision for Mac and iOS. Fidgets. A cool new thing we introduced in the last release are the plugin functions for fidgets. That's our little input output devices from the company Fidgets Inc. They can be connected to your computer. It can be a motor, a touch sensor, temper sensor, humid sensor, light sensor, an LED screen and many more. You can receive data from these devices or send data to them. The data can then be processed in FileMaker. So you can use these devices for task automation or build your own weather station, for example. With the fidgets, a lot is possible and we would be very happy if you can tell us in the future what projects you realize with the fidgets. Not so new anymore, but still very useful are our developer goodies for Mac users. These ones we provided for free, so you don't need a license to use them. These goodies can help you as a developer. The settings to the goodies you find in the preference. Tap plugins and, the, and then the configuration. In this window you can also activate your plugin license code if you have one. So in the goodies we have the syntax coloring in scripts and forms. Also when you click for example on if, the corresponding else and end if appears in blue here. So that we can find a quicker matching. Furthermore we check variables and if they don't exist, when use them in the script step, they show red. You can see it here um, at dollar p with the value pa and pa doesn't exist before. In order to help you with the variables, we have added autocomplete in the formula editor. So if you have used the variable name before, it is enough to enter the first couple of characters and you can choose the correct one from the list. This avoids typing errors. The autocomplete is also available for the MBS function names. If you often work with MBS functions, this will be an enormous relief for you. And here you see it. And then we can choose our variable. In the formula editor, formulas can often be complicated. It is good to be able to check the syntax of the formula and test it with example values. And for this, we have the buttons on the right side. With the age, your eyes are getting worse, but also for presentations, 
it is a great thing that you can display your script texts in a bigger size if you click on the plus sign on the top. If you don't like the font of the editor anymore, you can change it easily. To do this, simply set a new font in the setting dialog where you can also choose a new font size too. If you often write articles, forum posts or you need script texts for the documentation, you must write these no more by hand, but you can copy the script with a pressure on the appropriate button to copy the text into the clipboard. If you have to use certain script structures again and again, then you can store these also in an own context menu command and choose this entry if it is necessary. So the part is insert, for example, into your script. This is very useful for structures like loops. And here you can see it. We added it to the menu and then you can choose it and have the structure of the loop here. Also new in this area is the possibility to write links in a comment, which is then clickable and can link directly to a page. So you can include, for example, additional info for script parts. All these goodie features and much more are free and you don't need a license for these. So feel free to try them out. Until now, we can only offer these goodies for Mac and not for Windows because we don't have access to these parts that we need. But this year we were able to make one feature available for Windows users too. You can now search for table occurrences in the relationship graph. So we added a field with an MBS search and then you can enter there a value and then search the table occurrence. A conference like this is always a good time to say thank you. And I would like to thank you as our customers today. Thank you for all the years you've been supporting us. Because without you, we couldn't do the work we love. We love to support you as developers. And for that reason, I would like to encourage you, if you miss a feature in the FileMaker environment that is not in the plugin as well, feel free to talk to us at events or send us an email. We are always happy to hear your suggestions. If you have any questions about the presented things or about the plugin in general, I'll be running around here for the next few hours and I'm always happy to have a nice conversation. And so I say thank you for your attention and have a nice day.